Hello and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you my workflow on how I test new materials for engraving. The purpose of this workflow is to know the settings we will use on every new material we encounter. I know that there are several tests that are already available out there, but maybe you will find this different and faster and in the end will save you time. Let's begin. Step 1, go to my webpage which is listed in the description below and download the PNG file. In this exercise, we are using Lightburn. If you don't have Lightburn, please continue watching this video and maybe you can apply or translate this to your current workflow. After downloading the PNG file, open Lightburn and drag and drop the PNG file to the workspace, like so. I am unlocking the aspect ratio, changing the width to 75 and height to 5. Now I'm opening the layer, changing my speed to 40 mms, which is millimeter per second, my max power to 40%, my DPI to 254, and my image mode to stucky. Click start to engrave. A lot of my materials engrave in this speed and power. So this is my go-to settings as a starting point. Looking at this image, the goal here is for us to see 10 boxes of different shades. This material did not do well. It is way softer and easily burned. I can tell you that this image is too dark. That transition between dark and light should happen in the middle of the fifth and sixth block. So let's try again. I'm moving the PNG file just above the original PNG and I am changing the settings to 20 MMS and 20 power. This will make it very slow, giving enough time to burn the material, making it darker. This is just to test if we can make the image even darker. Looking at the very left part of the gradient, you can see that there are no difference between the 40 MMS and the 20 MMS. This means that we have achieved the darkest color using 40 MMS. So there's no point of going slower. In fact, if you can go faster, then that would be better. What we're looking for is the fastest, but at the same time, darkest black we can achieve in a material. But we still have an issue. We still need to solve the problem because overall this image is still darker. So you can see the gradient, you know, the transition between dark and light, it's still occupying the seventh or eighth block of the gradient. So we need to try again with a different setting. Maybe we can keep the 40 MMS and 40 power, but this time we're changing the DPI because the material is softer and that means we can go away with a lower DPI without actually affecting the, the image quality. This time we're gonna go 40 MMS, 40 power, but 200 DPI. As you can see, changing the DPI actually did something. We can now see something in the fourth and fifth block. You can now tell the difference between the third, fourth, and fifth block. We have two ways to approach this. It's either we go lower DPI or faster speed. But if we go faster speed, I'm afraid that the darkest color we achieve might go lighter. So I'm keeping the darkest color intact and I'm only changing the DPI. Now we're gonna try 0 0.15 line interval or 169 DPI. And this time we are going to put text just below it so we can remember in the future what this setting is for this material. So here is a closer look. I think I like this setting and I'm going to try it. If you feel like you want to go faster like 50 MMS, then try it and see how it compares to 40 MMS. By this time, you should understand why we are doing it this way and what are we trying to achieve. Now let's try it with an image. Let's engrave this predator image that I have normalized first in Photoshop. I will upload another video showing you how I normalize images using Photoshop because this is somehow connected with this technique. It will show you how this gradient interact 
with any images I prepare for engraving in Photoshop. I will also upload another video with different material, the same technique, the same workflow, the same approach, but different material. And I'll show you how I deal with this. So this will become a case study for future reference. Thank you for watching.